One of the most powerful functions in Google Sheets is concatenate. And when you combine it with the left functions and split functions, it makes it even more useful. So right away, we're going to start with just a section of names. And you might have a student list that you might end up using for some different purposes, uh, one of which you can use to generate usernames or emails really fast if you need to upload something to a program. So one simple way to do that is use our concatenate function instead of typing everything out, especially if you've got a classroom full of kids or especially if you were like a related arts teacher and you have hundreds of kids that you see. So with this, we're going to use the concatenate function. So just equals concatenate. And then here's the other thing that we do. Uh, with our school, we need to make sure that they don't have more than eight characters in each. So they can only have up to eight characters. So we're going to do the left function then. And that just starts from the beginning of the word and counts as many characters as we want. In this case, uh, the left function here, we're going to choose this cell reference. 8, and then we need to make sure we put our period in the middle, and so we want to put our quotation marks around that in order to identify it as text, and then we're going to do one more left. We do this side, 8, and then we're going to call it good and hit enter. So there we go. We have our usernames there, and we can just copy that down, and here's our check. Tina just goes up to Henrik, so it only includes the first 8 there. Now it's mainly the same process to use the email, except we can do the shorter uh, can concatenation. I'll just do concat because we're only doing two values here. We're doing this, and then we're doing the email. And that allows us to quickly make emails for our students. And of course, where it says at email would be the domain name. Now you may not always have clean data. In this case down here, the names are all in the same cell. And yeah, you could take the time to type them all separately, but why do that when you can use the split function? So that's just simply equals split, and then you choose the name. And then in the next, after the comma, you choose what it's going to split by. And in this case, it's just the space in the middle. So you put in a quotation mark, a space, and another quotation mark to identify that as the text. And then the last part you can put is whether or not to divide text around each character contained in the delimiter. And in this case, we can ignore that. It's optional. And there we go. It splits out, and we can do the same thing and copy down. Now, one important thing to note is if you're going to do this and then put these names on a separate sheet, these are generated by the formula. So if we just Control-C copied, Control-V pasted, it's going to break them because it's still referencing uh, cells that you know it moved when it copied. So what we want to do then is you can actually use Control-Shift-V to paste without formatting to paste special. And it'll just drop the text in there, and then we're all good to go. So I hope you find these sheets skills useful.